if you want to be able to connect one of these bat airs to your battery it essentially makes it a bluetooth monitored device so first thing all you got to do is plug this thing into your battery's balance lead like this now it will show up in your bluetooth connection as you can see it is bleeping like right there it's connected you find it now you can put some attributes this is a lipo battery so that is the setting at default it is success that's correct but the capacity it doesn't know what the capacity is this is actually a 650 million so i'm going to put that in there the manufacturer is tattoo and you can assign a password i don't really need that i'm just going to leave this right here and i'm going to hit save now i can see that this is a 650 milliamp success pack the charge is down at nine percent capacity and that's calibrated to go down to 3.5 so i can see all of my cells individually here i can see the date that i put into production was today my discharge rate is 30c and my charge rate is 5c now whenever i go back here you can see how many cycles it's been used zero cycles and you can do calibrations on it now this isdt air 8 charger works the same way that most isdt chargers work you can see it has pretty much the same menu that you're familiar with you can charge discharge stores charge uh, provide dc power or destroy a pack lipo 4.2 and then your current now let's set up a forest battery here's another battery i'm going to configure with the system this is a tattoo 1500 forest so all i gotta do is plug this in it goes into bluetooth pairing mode by default i see it pop up on the app uh, this time it knows it's a forest i'm gonna put the charge rate actually at 3c for this one and i'm gonna plug in the capacity at 1550 confirm save now this thing is ready to go let's see what happens when we now plug this into the bat air 8 charger okay so what i thought was going to happen was i thought it was going to automatically start charging up this battery when i plugged it in but it doesn't seem like that's what it does now the isdt air 8 charger is a charger that does need a power supply or a battery pack to supply your power i'm powering this for this demonstration off of this battery but you would need a power supply if you were in the field something like the isdt d2 charger has both you can plug that one into a wall outlet get your power that way um, that's the one that i'm currently using in the field it can plug into any wall outlet so when we're at the night spot we have generator power i use that and I can power up to two packs at a time. So this is some really neat technology. If you were running something like a Cinelifter and you really wanted to keep track of how many cycles that battery had on it, this would be a good option. Now using the ISDT Link app, I can actually see the same information that is on the screen right here. 21.9 volts, 21.9 volts. Now that I've started charging, I can actually see what is going on through the app i can see that it's charging right here and then when it finishes charging the percentage will be at 100 and it'll actually send a notification to your phone the other nice thing you can do is hit this button right here to stop charging now it is stopped now you can't start charging from the app it doesn't look like but you can stop it so if you did have to step away for a moment now i don't ever recommend that you do that if you're charging lipos you probably should be right there with your lipos but if you ever do have to then you have this option to monitor it and stop it if any of these cells look like they're out of balance now this charger can provide 500 watts of charging at up to 20 amps and up to 8s so what you do with this is you get some of these little plugs this would be a 6s battery plug this would be a 4s battery plug and what you can do with this is connect it to your battery like this and then you have a system that will allow you to monitor those batteries through your app with these little um balance port dongles right here and i can see both of them in the app and both of them what amount of charge they have you can also see this will keep track of how many times this thing has been charged you can recalibrate this thing right here now if you're like me and you're at a racer and you tend to smash your batteries a lot 
you may have to reset these up every time but that's nice though because you just unplug it plug it into a new battery and if say this was a brand new battery once you pair it right there it's going to show up right here and you will just go to reset settings then you can configure this to a another battery you can then put it for any other type of size the samples that they sent me are 4s 6s here's actually a 3s variety that this came with all the information about the batteries that you have with you where they are and so a lot of times what I'll end up doing is I'll take the battery checker and check each individual battery when I come home with a pack of like 15 batteries. If you had this system and a bunch of these connectors, you could do that wirelessly now. Oh, yeah, I like that charger a lot. It's oh, really they have nice. the bigger one? Yeah. They I don't like that it's bigger. It is big, yeah, but yeah. you can charge like a thousand amps on there, right? Really? Wow. Well, pretty high. Like more amps? I think, yeah, I think so. so. That's why it has What's a giant power supply. What's most important is that it's still alive. <laughs> after like i don't know it's now eight months old or it's so. kind of young though it yeah well, it's kind of yeah. young well my my first uh, this charger died after one year yeah like so the like, warranty stopped and like and it two weeks later it like one. i went through <laughs> in a year's time four of these yeah. Whoa. Like, so i'm now eight well, months yeah, into yeah. one isdt no, so I, it's winning for me right now i guess they sent me this thing, this new ISDT charger that has Bluetooth, and you can monitor the charging on the app. Okay. But like, you shouldn't really walk away from your charger. Though. Uh, you know. But like, people, I mean, you're going to. Yeah. I guess it's better than like often. I'll walk into the other room, you know, like uh, like maybe I'll be watching TV in the living room, but charging in my office. Yeah, that's true. You know. Uh, you can go for a walk, and then all right, it's on fire. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I see it on my phone. It's on fire. <laughs> Am I going to switch to this? Uh, you know, just to be transparent, guys, probably not. I just kill way too many batteries way too fast. But if I was flying something where I needed to not crash and the importance of each battery was super important, like a center lifter that was carrying a very expensive camera, this might be a way to manage those in the field where you don't have a lot of time if you were on set or something like that to go back and forth and check each individual battery. You can then wirelessly monitor all of them from the app very easily and then you'll know exactly which one needs to be charged you can put a little name for this so you can know that this is battery one two three then you could spot them in your stack of batteries over there know exactly which one needs to go onto the charger so that it's more time for you to focus on the task at hand and less time to worry about your batteries what do you think in the comments guys are you up for this battery technology this is an innovation that is for probably those on the bleeding edge but it is very nice and it doesn't cost you anything extra to if you um because you can still use this as a normal isdt charger with all of the features included in there thanks guys